transportation in general term moving of goods of any kind of form from one more shipper one or more shipper shipper means the person who wants the goods to be transported who okay. wants to send out the goods that particular okay. person is called the particular person or company is called shipper and or pick up point to one or more consignee consignee or ship to party the person who receives the goods yes yeah yes. from tm point of view we don't call it as a ship to party we call it as consignee and consigner consigner means shipper shipper who okay. sends the goods consignees consignees is the receiver party right consignee is the receiving party consigner okay. is the person shipper. who sends it Shipper, oh, right. okay. Consigner and consignee. Okay. Yeah, consigner okay. and consignee or shipper and ship to party. Both are same. Okay. Always we use the term shipper only. We don't use the term sold to party. You know? We use shipper only. Shipper is the person who sends off the goods from here and consignee is the person who receives the goods. The goods, yes. Transportation management is the term that refers to the coordination of transportation process. Transportation management system provides solution for moving uh, freight, freight in the sense goods. In all modes, includes uh, inbound, outbound, domestic, international, road, sea, air, all kind of transportation is handled by FCP transportation management. So these are all the parties that are involved in the transportation. As I told, as I told you, shipper or consignee are the parties who require movement of goods. Mm -hmm. At any point of time, if you are not able to follow me or if you are unable to understand my language, please let me know. I'm ready to explain it again. Okay? Oh yeah, sure, sure, Kathy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, consignee or the customer is the person who receives the goods. Okay, it can be from the uh, shipper or it can be from the vendor. Okay. If it is inbound yes. transportation, then it will be from the vendor. Okay. LSP, logistic service provider, the company that organizes logistic services. Suppose, for example, I own a company, uh, Hero, Hero company. I don't have logistics. I don't have logistics. Uh, I don't have in my capacity. I don't have logistics. Always I used to send my goods through some other party, some other third party. Okay. okay. My logistics activities are all are always handled with some other third party. So if I have my track, if I have my own uh, ship, vessel or something, then I will I will transport it myself, right? Mm -hmm. But if I don't have that uh, uh, transportation facility, what I will do, I will hand over this uh, transportation process to some other third so, party. I will outsource it, outsource it to some other third party, right? Okay. Okay, yeah. For example, Gatti, there are several uh, service companies out there. Gatti is there, FedEx is there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So these companies uh, are uh, especially they work on this um, transportation part. They uh, pick up the goods from one place and they deliver it to another place. They will oh, not okay. be the person who receives the goods. They will not be the person who sends the goods as well. Their yes. job is to only to uh, pick up the goods and deliver the goods in okay. another place. Yeah, this is this is a third party company which will take care of transportation on behalf of some other company right right yeah this is exactly the lsp scenario the companies that organizes logistic services to a consignee for a, to yes. a shipper or consignee yes either can either a shipper can ask a gutty to transport the goods or mm -hmm. a consignee uh, consignee means the person who receives the goods they can ask the uh, lsp to procure the goods from some other to place yes yeah to provide way. the service yeah yes yes yeah. yeah got it yeah you can use the lsp to send the goods or to procure the goods okay, okay. okay so this is lsp and carrier carrier is the actual company that executes the transportation the company oh, that owns okay. the truck okay yeah it so can this be can be LSP. third party mm. as well right this can be this can be third party as well it can be same company as well lsp okay, yes. they, yeah. they themselves they can have fleet or they, yes. they themselves they can have truck or else they can uh, hand over that execution process to some other company as well. Oh, okay. So here, for example, uh, I'm having my own carrier. So, but uh, what kind of logic, if I want to use the logistic services from the third party, so what mm -hmm. kind of logic, logistic services they provide? They will arrange like the transportation. Your job, yeah. your job is only to manufacture the goods. We can be keeping, keep picking up the goods from your place, arranging the transportation, monitoring the carrier, oh. all those steps, unloading the goods in their place, all those steps will be taken care of by the LSP. Oh, here, oh, just to sit back and manufacturing the product and even carrier I can maintain. Yes. Okay, okay, got it, yeah, yeah. Right. You're not going with the third party, you can, uh, you can, you can also have, with a, you can also uh, coordinate with a separate carrier 
instead of uh, going to an LFC, you can yourself coordinate with the carrier and you can send it through carrier as well. That is oh. a different scenario. There are two scenarios. Oh, for sure. One is you are handling handing over the uh, transportation process to some other third party company, or you are yes. going to take it upon yourself. Okay. If yeah. you are a shipper and if you are going to take it upon yourself, that is one, one scenario. Mm -hmm. If you are yeah. LSP and if you are going, going to hand over the transportation service to the LSP, then that's a different scenario. Two kinds of scenarios yes. are there. Okay. Uh, kind of, oh. in, in some cases, in the com current company, which I'm current project which I'm working, they don't uh, have a separate career. They have their own fleet. They have okay. their own trucks. Okay. Okay. I mean, they are manufacturers and they are having their own trucks. Right. Transportation yes. mode, yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. So but, uh, they don't they... require any as well. They don't require carrier as well. They will do the do all do everything themselves. Okay. Um, only for the tracking and all those purposes for uh, they'll be using as for ACP transportation management. Okay. So this is evolution of uh, SAP TM. Earlier it was uh, uh, LDTRA TRA. In case mm -hmm. of uh, uh, ERP, the the shipment uh, all those uh, things will were handled by. Uh, LDTR, there was there, there's some sub module of uh, sales and distribution. Uh, oh, shipment okay. document will be created, shipment cost document will be created, all those stuff should be uh, done by the LDTR. Oh, okay. And it then, is actually part of uh, sales SD module. Uh, it is a sub module, is more, more related to oh, okay. Yeah, more related to Okay, so it is it has been evolved, uh, evolved as a separate module like SAP TM. SAP yes, TM. yes. Oh. Being an SAP consultant, you should never uh, say as SAP. Oh, yes, SAP. Yeah, yeah. I should always yeah. say SAP, yeah, right. We are always saying SAP. So SAP yes. is something which uh, will be used by someone who doesn't know what, or what, is, what is SAP even. So, and then uh, planning is something which is not, which cannot be done through LETRA. So, there evolved SAP APO. In SAP APO, there is some uh, sub module called transportation planning and vehicle scheduling. In LETRA, you will not be able to plan. So, LETRA is something which uh, was there in the initial part. And then in LETRA, there is no option to plan the shipment or uh, schedule the shipments. What you can do is you can create a shipment document, you can, you will, uh, manually fit in the uh, carrier, you will be manually fitting the vehicle, all those things will be doing, but you will not be able to schedule it. For that purpose, they, uh, uh, they are evolved in different sub module called uh, TPVS, uh, Transportation Planning and uh, Vehicle Scheduling. That is a sub module of APO, Advanced Planning and Optimization. So, this was also something which is a sub module, which it was not having the full fledged facility. Uh, which was expected uh, from transportation management point of view. So then a uh, separate module for transportation management came in with uh, SAP TM 6.0. It was a separate server altogether. And then 8.0 and 9.4 and 9.5 came in. After 9.5, they have migrated the SAP TM S4 HANA box itself. So until 9.5, uh, the SAP TM was a separate server altogether. If you want to integrate with uh, SAP TM, you need to several middlewares and integrate it. That is a different okay. server. You need to buy license for the server, all those stuff. Okay. Uh, but from 1709, uh, SAP TM is incorporated into S4 HANA. It is a single server. Embedded version. 1709. Now, now we are in 2020 version, 2021 version. So well, from 1709 itself, it is being embedded into S4 HANA. You don't need a separate server for it. So you just need to activate and business service. That's it. Once you activate it, your TM will be active in your S4 HANA. So why, why, what is the disadvantages of LETRA? Why they moved on to? Okay. So there is no option for order-based planning in LETRA. Order-based planning means you can only plan with the delivery documents. Okay. In some cases, uh, uh transportation planning will start from this uh, sales order itself sales order or purchase order itself yes yeah uh, they will not be waiting until uh, inbound delivery or outbound delivery is created they will be starting from the uh, sales order itself okay they won't wait for the delivery creation but uh, but okay. in case of any tra you will not be able to uh, create the shipment document un uh, until delivery is created you can only add the deliveries to the shipment document you cannot add the sales orders. So order based planning is not possible in case of LDTRA. LDTRA means logistics execution transportation management. That is LDTRA. Okay. So uh, actually I could not get what is this order based planning. Order based planning in a sense 
Uh, what is this uh, purchase order flow, purchase flow, procurement cycle? Yeah, purchase order first, will be created. Yeah. Inbound delivery will be created. Then, yes, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Purchase uh, order will be generated. Then inbound uh, delivery will be created. Then uh, then we will generate the uh, inbound delivery in EWM. So this is what is the process, right? After purchase order creation, there will be some amount of time for inbound delivery creation. 